Hi everyone, this is Chichu. Welcome to my channel. I thought what we'd do in this video is uh, do a sort of an update video, a yearly report, I guess, if you can think about it that way, of where we are with the work that we're doing here. And you can sort of consider this a follow-up to what we put out uh, back in 2016, 2017, when we first set up our Patreon page. I created a uh, sort of a channel trailer for our YouTube channel and that was after 10 years of being on YouTube so it was a sort of 10 year anniversary video sort of welcoming everybody here and the second video was sort of a little bit longer video sh you know sharing with you my grand vision what it is that I plan on doing here what it is that I am doing here and asking for your support if you can afford to support this work to support this work through patreon right and i sort of parked those two videos in a playlist on our channel called my vision and this video is going to find a home in that playlist as well along with a handful of other videos just a very few videos that playlist is very small compared to some of the other playlists that we have on this channel right and just so you know right now at the end of 2018 beginning of 2019 we have about 650 videos loaded on YouTube, okay? Half of which are directly related to mathematics, either the language of mathematics, we're talking about the syntax of the language of mathematics, math in real life, where we're linking everything up uh, with how you can use mathematics in your daily life, how we end up using math in our daily lives, right? And the third major math playlist that we have is ASMR math where we're doing longer sessions we're uh, explaining certain concepts both related to the syntax of the language of mathematics and how we can use math in real life right and there's secondary playlists that have branched off from those three main playlists maybe be how to study trigonometry or a handful of other playlists that we will be creating right if they're related to food and farming art and design or whatnot and math in real life okay and just so you know right now the platforms that i'm active on are obviously youtube and bitshoot and bitshoot is another video sharing platform um, that i'm uploading videos to all of the content on youtube will be uploaded to bitshoot as well as anything that we end up doing on twitch all the live streams right and as you can tell i do have a twitch live stream account where we're doing a fair bit of live streaming related to basically almost all the topics that we're creating videos for our youtube channel i'm also active on twitter okay if you want to follow me there i usually announce the live streams about half an hour before we go live okay and i share you know all basically tweet out all the videos that we're either loading on youtube and or bitshoot okay and the other place that i'm active on obviously is uh patreon where if you like what i'm doing and if you can afford it you can definitely support my work through patreon as well as some of the other platforms and ways that i've listed in the description of this video and there will be more and more coming on that front as well because if as you know if you were following my work i'm very focused on decentralizing uh, my work decentralizing the way i get support maybe through crowdfunding maybe through different platforms or sharing information or communicating with everyone okay if you're new to my channel welcome i hope you enjoy your stay the best way to get a feel for what it is that we're doing here is just to hang around a while and just follow you know take a look at some of the videos that we're putting out okay you can definitely bookmark the site and check back on a regular basis you can subscribe you can you know press that button little bell thing that sends you notifications when i do end up loading videos on youtube and i'm pretty sure bitshoot will have that option as well if not now in the near future okay and you're definitely welcome to join us on the live streams that we do on twitch and i try to stay active on all those platforms including discord uh, we do have a discord channel that's linked up to twitch as well okay for those of you who've been around for a while 
thank you for sticking around. If you've been supporting my work by sharing the content that we're doing, liking, watching, or if you've been able to afford it to support this work through direct donations or through my Patreon page and any other, uh, the other methods that you've supported my work, thank you very much for that. That support allows me to continue this work, to produce as much content as I can, and to start sort of bringing that grand vision together and making it more obvious as to what it is that we're doing, right? And creating some of the modules and completing hopefully some of the modules sometime in the future, okay? So I thought what we'd do in this channel trailer update video, this yearly sort of report that I'll try to do yearly, okay, maybe once every two years, is basically what I'd like to do is go through sort of the story behind the top most viewed videos on my channel as of the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. And I'm pretty sure if you're going to be watching this much later than when I'm uploading this, those top 10 videos might have changed, okay? Because there are some videos that I have that are increasing in view, their graphs are, their slopes are much steeper than some of the ones that are in the top 10 right now, right? So over time, the top 10 list will sort of shift and change, okay? And um, you'll get a feel for, um, pretty good feel for what it is that we're doing here. Once you see the different types of content that we're creating here, may it be related to mathematics, food, comic books, personal finance, or obviously, obviously, um, a lot of the ASMR stuff that we're creating, right? As for the top 10 videos, and I'm also going to, I got a couple of videos here that I like to give special attention to. Uh, they're not in the top 10. Uh, one of them doesn't have very many views, but I think you'll have an appreciation for what it is uh, and why it's important to me and how it plays out in the big scheme of things uh, once we talk about it, okay? As far as the top 10 videos goes, right now, the most viewed video I have on my channel is the 10 by 10 math puzzle game that we put out back in 2015, okay? Sort of a pattern recognition game, and it's in ASMR format. And that video has its own playlist, and it's also linked up with ASMR math, as well as ASMR playlist that we have, as well as a playlist specifically designed for the 10 by 10 math puzzle, right? Because we are doing live streams on Twitch as well. Well, we've done one set anyway, and we're gonna do uh, a few other sets for 2019, but we did uh, about three live streams on Twitch where we actually played the 10 by 10 puzzle live with people recommending where we should do the movements, and it was fantastic. It was really, really fantastic. Okay, and that playlist has eight videos on it. And what I'm going to do, because I'm not uploading the live streams directly to YouTube anymore, they will be loaded to BitChute, they're not being directly loaded to YouTube. What I'm going to do is going to record those on an HD camera with the lapel mic that you see here, right? So the sound quality will be the ASMR, this sound quality that you see right now, and they will be edited videos, so there won't be any conflict between the two platforms. Twitch and YouTube because we don't want to get caught up in the war of the giants, right? Okay, and as far as the importance of this video, obviously this video is linked up with the mathematics because what we ended up doing was, or the reason that I shared this video was I've noticed one of the main things, main issues people have when they learn mathematics is they don't know their multiplication table, right? So what I ended up doing was creating a 10 by 10 grid on the wall where we talked about what the 10 by 10 multiplication table is and we generated 10 by 10 multiplication table because it's not, multiplication is not about memorizing what the, what the results are, but it's about generating the multiplication table, understanding the multiplication table, right? And the way we set up the grid was basically using some geophysical techniques, Pythagorean 
uh, special triangles to set up a square grid and then we you know have a special video for that where we're setting up the grid and then we did the multiplication table and because we had the 10 by 10 grid up I thought it'd be a great idea to share this 10 by 10 puzzle game that we had that I learned from a student that I had back in the early 2000s right and I sort of share that information through those videos and then we end up doing live streams of those okay so for you know obviously this video ASMR math really encompasses a lot of things that we're doing on my channel related to ASMR related to games related to mathematics right as for the second most viewed video I have on the channel okay it's the video we put out back in 2015 and it's the, the title is let me show you my comic book collection and this is a video that was one video from a set of videos we put out because if you've been following my work you know that I like to put sets of things together right so I put out a video saying that you know we we're going to put out a whole bunch of videos on comic books and then we had a little intro video and I, I sort of explained why it is that I collect comic books and uh, what I love about comic books may be the exploration of human imagination and understanding maybe the art maybe the storytelling maybe in terms of investing in terms of uh, looking into human history because they're amazing human artifacts or collectibles right and that video showing you my comic book collection was one of the videos in the first set of videos where we put out where we did that work and I showed you talked about comic books and talked about my history with publishing a little bit right and we ended up reading three uh, actually not three six different comic books that we chose from my collection to read where we made ASMR reading videos right so that video at some point is going to be linked up to the mathematics of it right and one thing you can do is uh, if you want to get a feel for how we're going to be linking things up uh, some of the other stuff that we're doing some of the other videos that we're creating that is not directly related to mathematics if you want to get a feel for how that stuff is going to play out and link up with the mathematics you can take a look at the table of contents that I have on my site and I will provide the link in the description of this video that takes you to the table of contents for math in real life and I've created different categories that you can take a look at and you know you can see some of the videos that we're creating where we can start doing a little bit of mathematics and analyze some of the data that we're collecting from those systems from those places okay as far as uh, just to let you know what we're doing with the comic books we have a comic book playlist which has 109 videos on there right now okay there are a couple of secondary playlists that we've kicked off from the comic book playlist one of them is comic book readings where I've taken comic books from my collection from the golden age silver age bronze age copper age modern age and we've read some comic books and there's 45 comic book readings that we've done right one of the most amazing things that's happened with those comic book readings is one of the comic books we read was Har fall of harbinger uh, book of death fall of Har harbinger that came out in 2016 or so and i shared that reading i usually don't do modern readings very much right because modern books are easy to have access to right and we've read a fair bit of key issues and some random issues and some issues that we're just interested in reading maybe from again golden age silver copper bronze age or whatnot but one of the readings we did was book of death fall of harbinger and i read that because i thought it was one of the most fantastic standalone comic books ever created really it was a brilliant comic book and what happened was the writer for that comic book Joshua Dysart ended up watching that video and he liked it so much that he actually commented on the video saying that he loved it he loved the ASMR aspect of it because he'd been 
he's been doing meditation for a very long time and the ASMR aspect of that video really took him to where meditation takes him which was a huge compliment to me and I sort of became sort of fanboy and I commented I was all excited that he had commented on there right so there's a secondary playlist from the comic book playlist kicking off from the comic book playlist that only lists the comic book readings we've done and there's 45 videos there 45 readings that we've done okay the other playlist that we've kicked off from the comic book playlist is the comic book halls okay and there's 25 comic book halls there and a lot of those have been sharing the data of how much i paid for that stuff some of them have historical uh, value of how much those comic books are there's about three of them that have linked up in a big way with the mathematics where we have charts showing tables showing we're pricing taking a look at the return on investment the growth rate and stuff like that so that those videos the comic book haul videos we have like there's about three of them there will give you a pretty good idea how we're going to link that up to the mathematics and at some point the odds are we're going to go back to these comic book halls that we've been doing since 2016 or so and maybe pull some of those out and sell some of those comics and see what type of return on investment positive or negative we might have got on those investments in collectibles that we have made okay the third video most viewed video that i have on my channel is another asmr math video and it's part of the playlist that i created which is how to study okay and the title of that video is asmr math how to study tip number five how to read a textbook okay and the reason i put this video together and the reason i created this how to study playlist together which really kicked off from the language of mathematics videos that we're doing, which there's 160 plus videos there, right? The reason I created this series is because what I found with working with students, working with people trying to teach them mathematics is, it's not really the mathematics that is the problem. One of the first problems is the education system, centralized education system, right? And I've talked I forget a bit about that and you will find those videos on my site if you look right in the education section and education playlist right one of the problems people have is our centralized education system the other problem is a lot of people that I've come across especially students that I deal with in high school they don't know how to study they don't know how to find their happy space quiet space how to be efficient, right? How to review, how to take notes. And we've created videos for all those. And one of the things that I found out was they didn't know how to read a textbook, which is why I put this video together. And there's two different versions of this video. The one that's getting the most views is the longer version. It's about an hour and a half, hour plus video of going through three different textbooks. Um, one of them is a linear algebra book one of them is a physics books and one of them is a politics economics book right because when you're studying the work that we're creating here is not just about mathematics but it's about education in general right so we sort of in that video go through the three different types of books and how you can read each book and take notes and whatnot right and um, and we do just a side note on that we are doing not only just comic book readings on this channel we're doing other types of readings we're doing book reviews and we're talking about science fiction fantasy books we're talking about politics economics books as well so this sort of links up in the whole grand design of things of how to study in terms of education right as for the playlist that we have to sort of link up to this there's 161 videos in the language of mathematics videos the first type of videos that I started creating, which is sort of taking a tripod and chalk uh, and going out into the city and sort of doing urban style of teaching mathematics, which is just basically graffiti style of guerrilla style, fast, rapid math lessons, right? They're not ASMR. 
but uh, they do get the information across as fast as possible okay we have about 60 videos in math in real life where we're linking up mathematics using math in different disciplines and different systems may they be related to food and farming art and design may they be related to science physics biology right we have an asmr math channel which is longer videos extended videos we have a secondary channel which kicked off from the asmr math and the language of mathematics but sort of content from both of them together which is the trigonometry playlist we've put together which is talking about uh, trigonometry and the next video is trigonometry so we'll get more into that okay and obviously there's a how to study video and there's 10 videos in there and there's going to be a lot more coming for that as well okay and i'll mention this again after talking about three of these things if you do like this work if you want to follow everything that we're doing we do have a youtube channel obviously a bit channel where we're loading all the videos right and as well as the live streams that we're doing on twitch so you can follow the work on twitch because one of the things that we're doing live streaming as well is we're having sort of open discussion drop-in tutoring sessions live tutoring sessions on twitch because i realize that a lot of people don't have access to tutors to teachers where they can bounce off ideas and ask questions so i put sort of certain time aside on my twitch channel that we end up doing at least one possibly two drop-in math session well anywhere between two to four drop-in math sessions every month where you can come with your questions specifically related to high school mathematics ask questions and we'll end up working our way through some of the problems and i'll try to help you out if i can right so there is a twitch channel there is a discord channel attached to the twitch channel i am active on twitter and for sure if you can afford it you can definitely support this work through patreon and it would be greatly appreciated it'll help me to roll out more content and start bringing some of these sort of this vision together and start releasing some of the things that we want to release complete some of the content and there are other ways other platforms that you can support this work and those will be listed and are listed in the description of this video okay as far as the fourth most popular video most viewed video that i have at the end of 2018 beginning of 2019 is another asmr math video and this one is the introduction to trigonometry okay the intro video that i put out to the trigonometry playlist that we've created okay and basically i titled that asmr introduction to trigonometry how triangles are related to circles okay and there's 20 videos in the trigonometry playlist there's i believe nine or ten that are from asmr math and about maybe nine or ten from the language of mathematics so half of it is asmr half of it not asmr but they are sort of chill as well the language of mathematics ones we ended up doing those ones at home okay i didn't go out graffiti style on those guys okay one of the reasons in my opinion that that video is in the top four is as far as i'm concerned and i'm sort of uh, biased on this front and in general i try to be humble but i i guess this is not going to come come out as being humble for some but as, as far as i'm concerned i did put a fair bit of time into thinking out that work that we're doing and we're about halfway through trigonometry just to let you know I've created half the content the videos that I've needed to create to go through high school trigonometry there's another 10 to 15 videos that I've already laid out to do right and there will be text following linking up everything as well but so far what we've done the eight nine or ten videos that we put out if you want to know how, why trigonometry is important how important trigonometry is in our lives okay and try to get a better feel for what trigonometry is 
that playlist those videos there are phenomenal really i've looked at them again right i obviously editing them i looked at them a lot looked at them a lot looked at them a lot right to edit them to get them into a position to be able to share that information with you after looking at those again the playlist put together again it is one of the best series of videos you can watch to get a feel for why trigonometry is important in our lives okay and that content is going to be linked up to a lot of different topics that we're talking about in on our channel okay what we're putting out right now because trigonometry is about waves is about cyclic functions okay may it be light may it be sound may it be vibrations may it be the cyclic nature of our economic system may it be the cyclic nature of our environment of the way the earth revolves around the sun the way our uh, solar system zooms through space may it be related to our lives the cyclic nature of our lives and just to give you a feel for that we haven't created too much stuff regarding that we will do a lot in regards to personal finance and economics and politics the cyclic nature of all that and it is very very cyclic okay there's a serious cyclic nature in terms of personal finance economics and politics and we've talked about that in the personal finance videos and the politics and economics videos right about the cyclic nature of our current economic system but one place that you can see how trigonometry relates into the real world is a video we put out for math in real life which was basically graphing the female menstrual cycle as a cyclic function right and i really wanted to create that video and have that being one of the first videos we created to link up with trigonometry because it affects all of us right irrelevant of your economic status irrelevant of where you live what kind of political system economic system you're involved in what kind of mindset that you have right because that's biology and it affects all of us and for me i really didn't have an appreciation for the menstrual cycle until i looked at it as a cyclic function which is how mathematics plays out in all of this right it's i'm very proud of that of those videos that we created the asmr math uh, series that we created for trigonometry and i hope i hope you enjoy it if you end up watching it okay the fifth most popular video that i have on my site is a video that i put out in 2009 okay and i cut it to music and we do talk about music on this channel as well fair bit of music as much as we can anyway uh, we will be talking a lot more about it when we start talking about music in waves as trigonometry right but this one the fifth video yeah i'll read the title it says bye bye beard i cannot recommend living with a beard highly enough and it's basically me when i had a gigantic beard shaving that beard off completely and i cut that beard to nuja bass a japanese producer okay music producer that unfortunately passed away a few years ago in a car accident and if you've never heard about nuja bass i highly recommend getting a hold of his complete library and looping it as much as you can because it is absolutely brilliant right and when i first put out that video i didn't realize for a time that video bye bye beard i cannot recommend living with a beard highly enough it was my top viewed video for the longest time right and it put a smile on my face okay and i do love facial hair if you're curious obviously right i love facial hair and male grooming is something that is in when i was growing up anyway it wasn't a huge topic of conversation so it was trial and error and for me i've had facial hair for the most for most of my life i've 
live with facial hair. Maybe a full beard, maybe a mustache, maybe a short goatee, long goatee, whatever it might be with big sideburns or whatnot, right? So I love facial hair and that playlist that contains 14 videos is me sharing why, what I love about beers and I put out a video specifically talking about why it is that I love facial hair and what it what it allows me to do in our society and how I interact with people when I have different facial hair designs on my face and how that plays out in my everyday life okay and that that video specifically when we talk about that is called the beauty of beers why i love facial hair okay and uh just so just so you know okay i'll tell you a couple more things about the beard videos that i'm creating okay the first asmr videos that i put out were me combing my beard once uh one of them was combing a dry beard and another one was combing a wet beard just out of the shower cleaned up and stuff like this right and when i uploaded those videos it was about I don't know, a few months later or a year later or something like this that or a couple of years later that i came across an article talking about asmr and i had never heard about asmr i didn't know what asmr was and when i read that article and i looked at you know a couple of videos that were linked up in that article I was like wait a second i know that sensation i get that sensation doing a few different things right and i've shared some of that stuff with you that's why our channel is very asmr centric right but i didn't know about asmr then and what i ended up doing after reading that article was going to an asmr forum and mentioning that you know hi i'm new here i you know i'm not 100 sure about this but i think this is what it is here are two videos that I put out, me combing my hair with dry, dry hair and combing my wet beard. And what's explained in the article and what I felt watching those couple of videos that were linked up in the article were the same sensation I get with combing my beard. And because I was creating shorter videos, when it came to that, I edited some stuff out. I mentioned that I had longer, more of that video, sort of double the amount of time that I had uploaded. If people would be interested if i made longer versions of those and shared those and people were like yes 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 please and i did and that's how i got into creating asmr math asmr videos and the reason i started creating asmr math videos was because there were people commenting on my asmr videos as well as the math videos the language of mathematics and math and real life videos mentioning or requesting for me to create asmr math videos and the reason they gave me was they would get anxiety when trying to learn math and they believed if the delivery was an asmr format then they would be more receptive to learning the mathematics and i for me my main purpose is really to aside from creating the space that we've created sharing what i love is to teach as many people the language of mathematics as possible so if there were people that wanted me to teach them in a certain way that they could learn that information i took on that sort of task and i tried it out and the trigonometry playlist was the first set of real i created some other random videos not too many uh, before that might have been one two or three videos before we started getting to the trigonometry stuff but because trigonometry people have you know it's the one that takes people really out of the game uh, one of the main ones that takes people out of the game uh, I really wanted to get that one get people that past that hurdle first and because I love trigonometry I love spending time on it I made that playlist those set of videos in ASMR format and I love the way they came out and people really appreciated them and they started commenting saying that they finally understood trigonometry and thanking me for doing this and whatnot. So those videos, ASMR math videos, are directly as a result of the beard, the facial hair videos I was 
creating right and i love facial hair and we'll continue to make facial hair related videos okay the sixth most viewed video i have on my channel sort of links up again it's an asmr math video and it links up with math in real life and my i don't want to say obsession but my passion with understanding the world that we live in the title of that video is asmr math division by zero why we can't travel at the speed of light einstein's relativity and we put out that video back in 2016 okay and that video again it links up to the mathematics shares some of the uh, math concepts that we have in the language of mathematics and links it up directly to what matters to us in the real world which is the concept of time which is a concept of matter which is a concept of light speed and how we perceive the world right and for me that video i love it the reason being is because it was one of the aha moments that you have when you're learning mathematics okay for me i read einstein's paper on the electrodynamics of moving bodies uh, i had read it during the university times when i was studying geophysics and getting my minor in mathematics right but i really didn't appreciate understand the mathematics behind it right because we're always told since we're in high school that we cannot travel at the speed of light it's a limit that we have in this reality matter-based reality that we live right and i was told that at you know at high school i was told that at university i was told that in mathematics i was told that in physics and i just accepted it as fact right but i really didn't understand it until i read einstein's paper on the dy electrodynamics of moving bodies his thesis on relativity when he brought the two concepts of time and space together and to me in that video it's the concept of zero and division by zero which made me understand why it is that we cannot travel at the speed of light so we spend about an hour talking about that concept in that video and if you like physics and you like to go on sort of try to get a better understanding of the reality we live in and how our lives play out and in this world uh, and if you want to take things to the limit that might be an interesting video for you to watch if you want to get a feel for what it is and the type of discussion that we have here okay the seventh most viewed video i have on my channel is related to my love of geophysics my love of the environment my love of the earth right because for about 10 years I did environmental geophysics work as far as I know I was the first person first geophysicist in Canada to have environmental geophysicists written on their business cards in the 1990s when I was working for a multinational corporation they asked me what I wanted on my business card and I mentioned I stated environmental geophysicist right they said no 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 we have to put geophysics because you're going to do other things I said no I want to work on environmental geophysics and I did a little bit of other stuff but 90% of my work was environmental work and flying all around Canada and a lot of the United States and you know if you know Canada I've been to Labrador Northwest Territories Yukon I've been to a lot of places in Canada dropped off in in on the side of the hill off a helicopter and stuff like this so this seventh most popular video is let's take a look at a crystal and mineral collection right and we sit there and we're sort of it was during a move where we're going into our new space and we had stuff in boxes and we basically ended up hitting the crystal mineral rock collection that we had one of them anyway my partners i've since that period i've gone through my collection and opened that up as well and at some point we'll make, we will make a follow-up video and i'll show you my personal collection that i collected when i was a geophysicist and flying around the world as a geophysicist right but we ended up going through a crystal and mineral collection which is an amazing collection and we talked about 
some of the crystals and how they might have formed and i talked about my life as a geophysicist a little bit and that definitely links up to the first most popular video that we have where we talk about the 10 where we do the 10 by 10 math puzzle game right we use some of the geophysics techniques that i have specifically mathematics using pythagorean right angle triangles trigonometry to set up the grid and that links up to this so this should give you a pretty good feel how there is rhyme and reason behind this madness a term that i use i have used in the past in the videos trying to explain what it is that i'm doing because when i first started creating this content uh, there were a lot of people back in 2007 right there was a lot of people that were uh, thought i was mad going about doing this putting in so much time for this and they couldn't see where technology where we were going and what my vision was because no matter how hard i tried to explain to people what it was i was trying to do they couldn't see it because the content wasn't there now the content has reached a point where you should start getting an appreciation for what it is that i am doing and some of those people that really didn't appreciate where i was going with this are now seeing this grand design to a certain degree and this video is definitely one of them and it has a home in another playlist that i've created which is basically a show and tell showing you guys some of the collections that we have here may they be crystals may they be there's a lot of comic books in that right in the show and tell playlist but there are other stuff as well may it be my liqueur collection may it be album collection we've created some music things music videos a couple of music videos where i showed you my album collection and I, we did a live stream of showing you uh, my tape collection that we got to so we listened to some tape during a live stream and whatnot okay so that was our seventh video okay the eighth most viewed video that i have on my channel right now as of end of 2018 beginning of 2019 is let's check out the comic book collection on i bought i bought on ebay and it's box number one okay and this is again you know i mentioned it where i talked about the second most popular which, which is showing you my comic book collection but this video is definitely linking up with mathematics with personal finance with investing right because i showed you the collection we made we ended up putting out two full-on videos hour plus videos where we're going through the boxes and just so you know this collection more than half of it was specifically daredevil collection from the 1960s um, the silver age of comics and i bought this collection in antif anticipation of netflix's daredevil series right because i had a feeling it was going to be phenomenal and it was right and we got that collection for song and dance right we got a great deal on the daredevil books that we ended up buying as well as some of the other books that we ended up buying which were some were sci-fi sci horror books as well as some of the war comics okay and if you're interested in daredevil for the comic book readings we've done a reading of daredevil number one for our comic book readings as well okay which is the first appearance of daredevil written by uh it's written by stan lee and the artwork by was by oh, if my memory serves me right i believe it would have been uh, was it jack kirby was it steve ditko was it um i believe it was one of the other uh, giants in the industry that uh, did the artwork for that but you can take a look at that video but this video the eighth most popular video let's check out the comic book collection i bought in ebay box number one is us going through that where i'm showing you the collection we bought and you know looking at the price we got them at and maybe at some point we'll go through and sell some of those books and see what type of rate of return we would have gotten for those books or 
we can just check out what they're selling for on eBay and do a price um, matching, right? And there are, you know, this is listed in the, both in the comic book playlist as well as the comic book haul playlist, okay? And it's sort of the videos we put out after this uh, for comic book haul, some of them go a little bit deeper than what we did, just not looking, you know, tabulating and seeing what type of prices we paid, how much they came up per unit, but also looking at the graphs and the price differences, right, over time. The ninth most popular video, most viewed video we have on the channel is eating a bowl of, <laughs> eating a bowl of pomegranate seeds with a spoon, okay? If you've been following my work, you know I'm very, uh, I love being in the kitchen. I love cooking food. I love food, okay? And if you've been following the work we've been doing in regards to mathematics and you've been here a while, you'll know that for Math in Real Life, we have, uh, we created a set of series in, t in regards to food and farming. So I'm very interested in food, agriculture, and just sustainability in a in a big way right so there's a playlist we've there's a set of videos that we have that's in the food section which is also in one of them in uh, the mathematics of food of farming where we go through growing food okay in crops and rows doing calculations and crop yields and stuff like this so the stuff that we're doing in the kitchen May it be related to eating a bowl of pomegranate seeds with a spoon. May it be to the live stream cooks that we're doing with the recipes. May it be the, to the tea. We put out a video of how I brew tea, and we did a little bit of mathematics on it, where we did some permutations and combinatorics, and we looked at how many different blends of tea, different types of tea you could make with five different ingredients, right? And it's... A great video and I really like that video because it really brings it home and allows you to appreciate that you can use mathematics everywhere right but in regards to the pomegranate video we have a whole playlist of how to eat pomegranates or pomegranates playlist and that pomegranates is something that I eat seasonally because it's only available in fall late fall to winter in my part of the world and it's something traditionally that has been within our family for generations that we've been eating and i've come across a lot of people that didn't really appreciate know how to eat pomegranate so the reason that we ended up putting that video together was specifically to share information of how to how to use pomegranates and we have one video regarding pomegranate salad dressing as well as doing a lot of that stuff all of it really in asmr format and there's you know we got three different four different playlists for the food stuff right the main playlist is a food playlist where we have 50 videos up right now as of the end of 2018 2019 right and some of those are the live streams that we've done in the kitchen where we've done talked about pancakes on philosophy or we'll cook pancakes and talk about philosophy or talk about you know make some power food and talk about politics and economics or whatnot right so there's 50 videos in the food playlist there's 15 videos in the pomegranate playlist there's eight videos in the cooking live stream playlist and there's 12 videos in an eating playlist where it's just eating videos and this pomegranate video belongs in both the food playlist the pomegranate playlist and the eating playlist okay and just so you know where we're going to go with all this at some point we're going to start creating the mathematics of food and fitness so taking some of the foods that we've created here so far and doing a calorie count and energy count on them okay and doing the calculations in that format and then linking that up with some kind of fitness regimen where we start taking a look at how food and fitness are connected and for me i've i've been active all my life i 
belonged to the track team, I played soccer, I played basketball, I played a lot of sports, and I've been fairly active. I've done weight training, a fair bit of weight training, enough to maintain my life and be healthy, and I've incorporated certain types of food with my weight training and with my fitness training and stuff like this, right? So at some point, we're gonna link all that stuff up with mathematics, taking a look at the calories, the energy, the different types of nutrients you get with the different types of food, and then using some of that stuff in the fitness program that we're gonna create. Because as, as you might know, your diet decides everything. Food is incredibly important, which is why in the personal finance video that we put out, right, the playlist that we put out, one of the first comments I made in regards to personal finance was, if you wanna be financially stable, make sure you're physically and mentally healthy, and food is a huge part of that, right? So this video of eating a bowl of pomegranate seeds with a spoon really connects up in the grand scheme of things of what it is that we're doing, even though it might not appear in that light at first. Okay. The 10th most popular video that we have is, let me show you my board game collection. Okay. And this sort of links up to the first video the most popular video, which is a 10 by 10 math puzzle. Because I'm a, I'm a huge gamer. I played games my whole life. A lot of card games, as you know, we do a lot of backgammon videos. We've done backgammon streams. I've, I've done videos where we recorded me and my grandma playing backgammon, where we're gonna take the data for the dice rolls and use them in probability and statistics and tabulating and take a look at the distribution of that, right? May it be related to console games or computer games, right? At some point, we will definitely make the same type of video for my console and computer games, showing you my console and computer game collection, just the way we did my board game collection, this 10 most popular video, right? But the way this sort of links up to everything, obviously, is because there's a lot of mathematics in every game you play. May it be a card game, may it be a board game, backgammon, chess, may it be console games, computer games, whatever it might be, mathematics is the basis of all games because probability and statistics came out of, it's a branch of mathematics that really came out of games of chance, right? So board games is going to be linked up in a huge way, in a big way, with what we're doing with mathematics, may it be language of mathematics, math in real life, or ASMR math, right? And for the gaming playlist, we have 40 videos in the gaming playlist. The first set of videos in that gaming playlist was me attending the 2007 World Diplomacy Championships 17 and Dipcon 40, where I went as a player and I played with some of the players before, some of the best players in the world before Diplomacy, and Diplomacy is an amazing game. I've talked about this and we will do videos regarding Diplomacy in the future, okay? But I sort of went to Dipcon 40, World Diplomacy Championship 17, which was held in 2007 as a player but I was just getting into recording videos and I was trying to learn as much as I could about editing and shooting video before I started creating math content. And I really wanted to document this event. So I pulled out of the tournament as a player and decided to record the event. And I asked everyone, you know, if it was okay to record the event, the organizers and stuff. And they were gung-ho about it. They were sad to not see me play and I was sad not to play but people really appreciated me spending that time recording so we have i forget how many videos maybe 12 videos of filming the world diplomacy championships in 2007 that's how the gaming uh playlist began gaming videos began and then we did i believe i did a video on the probability distribution 
of two six-sided die, right? Because we're going to be using a lot of dice to do mathematics. And that video links up with math in real life and the language of mathematics is graffiti format on the wall, okay? And from there, we've done a lot of backgammon, okay? We've played a, I've shown you my grandmother's backgammon board, my backgammon board. We've done recording sessions of me and my grandma playing backgammon, live stream sessions of me and my grandma playing backgammon. And we've started doing live stream sessions of playing backgammon on Twitch with everyone on the chat, which is turning out to be fantastic, fun stuff to do, right? And one of the other games we've already, or a couple of the other games we've already started creating content for, a lot of content we've created for Monopoly. We've talked about Monopoly a little bit, uh, talked about the variant rules of Monopoly in a video a fair bit. We did a video where we overlaid the mathematics of the variant rules of Monopoly that we have, which again, just links up to math, how math is so important in our everyday lives, including playing games, games of chance and entertainment, right? And we've already made some videos regarding dice, one of them being the probability distribution and the other one being uh, how to play street dice, a simplified version of craps. And at some point, we're definitely going to be making a series of how to play craps, straight up craps, which is a game that I love, right? And we've done, you know, a chess video, uh, just a short little chess video of me showing you guys my chess board and showing you guys one simple move that we have, okay? Those are the top 10 most popular videos that we have on my channel. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that there's two videos that I wanted to mention, just make a note of, because they're not the most popular, but they are important moments, important videos out of the 650 videos that we've created. Okay, 650 plus videos that we've created at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. One of them is the first video where I ever appeared in front of camera which is the language of mathematics, number one, the first video, introduction, which I put out in 2007, okay? And it was during that video where I started creating this content, and specifically I started creating the language of math videos to help out a family member that was struggling with mathematics. But once I started rolling, creating this content, it soon became obvious that a lot of people were appreciating what I was putting out because they were commenting, they were liking, and they were asking me to do more, right? So it was back then that I realized this is what I'm going to do. The grand design came to be, right? It hadn't reached this point, but I knew it was something that was going to put my time, energy, my heart and soul into it. As Nassim Taleb would say, Nicholas Taleb would say, uh, put my skin in the game on this, right? And people saw that I was creating all this content and they really didn't appreciate it. They would keep on asking me how much money I was making. I was like, I'm not making anything. I'm doing this for the love of it. And I believe in personal finance. We've talked about this. I believe in projects. I like projects where I do a lot of the front end work and reap the rewards in the tail end, right? Because I'm very passionate when it comes to doing things like this, especially when it comes to creating content on this channel, especially in regards to food, ASMR, games, and obviously mathematics. And I will be doing this for a long time. But that video, the language of mathematics number one, is the first time I was on camera and I was extremely nervous. And I did a few different takes and when I look back at it now, I'm like, oh, that could have been so much better. But it was the beginning stages of creating this content, which was 12 years ago, right? 12 years ago that we be, be, sort of began this thing, this math project that we've gone on that is encompassing everything, right? So I'm very proud of that video. And... 
I mentioned this earlier when I keep on mentioning I want to share with you the rhyme and reason behind this madness that's the discussion I would be having with people and a lot of people would not appreciate what I was talking about back then I think a lot of people appreciate what I'm talking about and what my grand vision is now okay and I hope you do as well if you end up watching that video <laughs> okay the the last video I want to mention is another video that we put out and this video came out in 2011 and the title for this video is this introduction to the remainder theorem and the factor theorem and it's the language of mathematics series 3b b video number 142 so the previous video the introduction was video number one so by 2011 in four years we're up to 142 videos in the language of mathematics plus we created a whole bunch of other stuff as well right so after four and a half, 442 videos this was the video we put out where I worked with a friend of mine that was going to film school okay and he took a look at what I was doing and he understood he was involved in film and he was online a lot and he understood where technology is taking us and he loved it and he wanted to do a project together he wanted us to do a math video together and I had not worked with anyone for the language of mathematics stuff before right collaborating on that level because I would just usually go out solo with a chalk and whatever and do my graffiti in and out as fast as I could because some places uh, uh, people did not appreciate the mathematics being done on the walls in the alleys or wherever it was right so I was doing a lot of that all of that work solo most almost all of that work solo a couple of times I had friends that I asked them to hold the camera because I really needed to be in and out really fast I couldn't put the camera on a tripod okay but after he looked at that those videos what I'll be doing he said please please Chicho let's do a video together so we went out for the first shoot and I was used to doing my gorilla style right and we did one shoot and it didn't work out very well because we weren't in sync as much I was I was I had everything organized in my mind but I needed to put it on paper to lay it out so he could see what it was that we were doing and where we were going with the stuff right so we sat down and hashed it out and he asked me to put different scenes together for us to do this to do this work right so that was sort of the first time that I sort of did a I guess storyboard right with the little pictures as well but text wise the math concepts I was going to do as well as little pictures of what I was going to draw and I showed it to him and stuff like this and we went out and put out this video okay introduction to the remainder and the factor theorem language of mathematics 3b number 142 that we put out in 2011 and it came out phenomenal okay and I mentioned to him at the time and he mentioned to me as well that we would love to continue to working together and putting out content like that because as far as I'm concerned that would be cream the creme of creating a math series to teach mathematics to people having text having exercises having solutions having examples along with videos well produced well shot good lighting good music and I've been cutting some of the initial stuff when I did with the language of mathematics to music a lot of hip-hop right but creating videos like this is what we need to do to be able to have as many people learn mathematics as possible along with ASMR math videos along with any other format of teaching mathematics that I come up with that I experiment with or other people experiment with because the more people learn mathematics the better our world will be right it will improve our society in every way possible okay and that is the ultimate purpose that is the ultimate vision of my work here and that is what I'm trying to do here and 
if you like this work if you like what I'm stating here if you like what you've seen and you spent time here if you can support this work your support through patreon and or any of the platforms or ways you can support this work listed in the description of this video will be greatly appreciated okay and if you want to follow this work what i'm doing youtube bitchute twitch for the live stream stuff and the live stream work most of it all of it is going to be loaded on bitchute a handful some will be loaded on youtube okay we do have a twitter account and i will provide all the links in the description of this video okay thank you for hanging around long enough to watch this video it's an entirety if you didn't and you end up skimming through the end and you're here right now the best way to know what the rhyme and reason is behind the madness that you're seeing on this channel is to hang around a while bookmark the site visit it as often as you can and subscribe turn on notification and follow the work that we're doing on patreon and if you can support this work in the ways and platforms listed in the description of this video okay thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now